Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the trim function, the clean function, and the substitute function in Microsoft Excel. And you will need this if you do data analysis or need to get data ready and you've got a lot of empty spaces or blank spaces. And to be honest with you, sometimes you don't even know that you have them. So let's take a look at this first. If you notice in column A, I've got my name typed multiple times, six times, and then I have monthly report 2018. I'm going to pull up Microsoft Word just for a second. So here's the his issue. If I type in my name in Word and triple click a word, that'll highlight both names. I'm going to go click on words. So characters with spaces is 12. Chris is 5, Menard is 6, that's 11, plus that one space is 12 characters with spaces, so that's correct. If I come over here to column E, and I do the function equals LEN, it's going to return the number of characters in a text stream. And it only has one argument, what cell reference are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for A2. So that first one in A2 I actually did put in correctly. So when I pull down, if I'm not getting 12 for Chris Menard, something's wrong. And so monthly report 2018, triple click, characters with spaces is 19, monthly is 6, report is... 6, sorry, monthly is 7, report is 6, that's 13, 2018, 13 and 4 is 17, with two spaces is 19. I got 22. So here we go. One of my favorite functions in Microsoft Excel is the trim function, and it removes all extra spaces. So in this first example, it only has one argument. I'm going to trim A2 even though it's correct. You can see that in A3 I have leading spaces before the letter C. A4 I've got extra spaces in the middle. And I bet I've got some trailing spaces happening. So there I go. That was the trim function. Let's go test it, because you know I'm expecting 12 characters with my name. So instead of doing A2, I'm going to do cell B2. Not bad. Equals LEN B2. I should get 12 here, because we know that A2 was correct anyway. So let's see what the trim function did. It fixed A3. It fixed A4. It did not fix cell A5, did not fix A6, and did not fix A7, and it did not fix monthly report, which should be 19. So that's the trim function. It works most of the time, but sometimes you get what's called characters equals trim. I'm going to add to it the clean function, which removes all non-printable characters. Sometimes you get non-printable characters in your text. It still has one argument, A2. So there's trim with clean. Auto fill down. So in column B is just the trim function. In column C is the trim and the clean function. And looking here, let's see what it did. Let's go test it, equals L-E-N, but this time I'm going to reference C2. We know that the first one's correct, and we actually know that the next two are going to be correct. Let's just test, but the third one, let's see if it fixed it. It did, so A5 had a non-printing character somewhere in there, and it fixed it. It also fixed A6. But it didn't get A7. I'm still expecting to get 12, and I'm not. And it somewhat helped out on A8, the monthly report. But again, I'm expecting 19, so something weird is still in there. 
So here's the function I recommend that you just put this somewhere. You'll need this the rest of your life if you do Excel and you do analysis or even a mail merge to get stuff right. We're going to start off with the trim function. We're also going to add the clean function. But we're going to also put in the substitute function, which replaces existing text. Because I happen to know what's wrong here, and it's almost what's always wrong. The substitute function, notice the word text is in bold, and then old text and the new text, and then instant number. It's got three required fields. Old text, I'm sorry, text. Old text is the second, and new text. That last one is optional. So I'm still looking for A2, comma. What is the old text I'm trying to find? I'm going to use the character function and put in 160, which is actually a non-breaking space, comma. What do you want to replace that non-breaking space with? Because it says new text. Well, I want to replace it with just a space. So I did double quotes, space, double quotes because the trim function and the clean function are going to take care of the spaces. I'm going to close that. Notice it's, I'm back on the clean function. Close that. I'm back on the trim function. Close that. Let's see if this worked. Equals LEN. D2, I know I'm going to get 12. I know I'm going to get 12 through there. That's not the issue. Let's see if the next one gives me 12. It did, and I should get 19, and I did. So that right there where I just clicked, that function up in the formula bar, you'll need that the rest of your life. And if you're wondering why was it character 160, I told you character 160 is a non-breaking space. You get this a lot when you pull stuff in from the web. If I do equals char160, when I press enter, I'm going to get, it's going to look like a blank, but trust me, there's something there because there's something in the formula bar. So make sure you know that formula right there. So we went through the trim function to remove spaces leading spaces, trailing spaces, extra spaces in between. We covered the clean function for your non-breaking spaces. I'm sorry, your uh, clean function, which covered non-printing characters. And then we also covered the substitute function, which took care of those non-breaking spaces. And also the lend function is a great function to say, okay, I got the right number here. Appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next week.